kind of kind of trying to keep these uh considerably short. I want to hit about 10 minutes, and I was hoping for maybe a nice convenient spot. But you know, this this hallway seemed acceptable, I guess. Hmm. I didn't even really pay attention to what the fuck I walked into that room. I just heard music and then Saw Runner. Okay, um. I just wanted to check this ground. I have a couple of these spaces to. Oh god. Wooden boards. Oh. <laughs> Unless I think I already broke them. There we go. Sometimes the collisioning with these can be a bit finicky. That's too dark. There we go. Now you're probably thinking, I'm a pansy. It's not dark. You can actually kill these guys in I think two or three hits if you can land headshots, but I really can't. Um, the camera moves around a lot in this, and for, I would say, a good reason. I mean, I, w I was developing a, um, a horror game, or horror mod, and I'm actually probably gonna come back to it someday, but, uh, that was one thing that always seemed to really trivialize encounters was how smooth mouse movement can be. You just take careful aim shots. Uh, this kind of gets around that by having a lot of movement on the crosshair. Mm. Okay, I can't pick this up because I've got, you know, better things to carry around. I also don't like it, personally. Um, but this thing's kind of cool. It is a... I believe it was a burst fire machine pistol. It's really effective for what it does, but the problem is that it. How did I do that? <laughs> I'm so bad. Anyways, it has a really nice model as well. I feel like it's definitely one of the later weapons he worked on. Um, but I couldn't really say for certain. That could be the first, for all I know. But yeah, personally, I don't really like it. It's a weapon that's okay. What's dark shit? Gotta be a little tactical. I think that's, uh, I think that's doable from here? <sighs> Man. To, to be honest, I would not be able to do this. These don't look like they have any support whatsoever. I would be freaking out. I mean, I already don't like heights. This bothers me. Let alone trying to do this IRL or something. I would go crazy. I guess Simon's already kind of crazy, so... Oh, I almost just fell to my death. It's not good. Okay, we're gonna try something. <sighs> Thank you for the ammo. See, the nice thing about these guys, the ammo, <laughs> ammo cost to ammo gate ratio. You get an entire magazine for that one dude, and I just spent one bullet killing him.
I mean, I feel like that's a pretty fair trade-off. It's one of the reasons I both hate and love these guys, but you can get a lot of ammo. Four shots is not nearly enough. I'm gonna save point here, but I'm gonna take a look around. I I know exactly what's coming up. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I hate this part. It's legitimately terrifying, and I guess that's kind of a good thing, but... Ugh. Ugh. I don't really know if the rifle would be better here or not. I'm kind of debating on it because this is... 16 shots. Did I say 16? Yeah, it is 16. I can count, I swear. Um, one thing that's actually really cool, and I, I don't even know how he achieved this. I mean, if you look at the scope, it actually reflects and distorts what you're looking at just a little bit. I didn't even know it was possible on the Gold Source, to be honest. I mean, this is something I don't see in my Source 2 games. 2, sorry, Source. Um. Killing Flow 1 has it, and it lags really bad, just having the damn scope. Um, also, uh, this game doesn't have it for this, but normally like Killing Floor 1 and 2 have a... The center is zoomed in and the outside's not. It's a really cool effect, and it's pretty immersive. Um, it's kind of a shame he couldn't get it working here, but I imagine it was probably a little irritating. And this is the college. <sighs> it's kind of soothing. <laughs> Simon's Cafe. Got some Coke bottles, some posters, lots of food. Fucking Kit Kats. Oh, it's a fucking. God damn it. Simon, you need to be able to jump. Huh. Great of Monsters. Great of Monsters is actually the mod um, Rumble and some people worked on before this. Uh, that's a hoodie. You can actually equip different hoodies for Simon on subsequent playthroughs. We're not going to go here yet, for, for a good reason. Um, I believe you need something from back there, or from back here first, but I don't recall. I'm just going to take a look around anyways, I mean, just show you around the classroom, see, show you what it's like. And this is honestly not exactly the weirdest design for a building I've ever seen either. I totally believe this is a real college somewhere. Um, maybe in here? No, I can't. <sighs> I keep checking that because I don't know. Yeah, see, that's the key. We're gonna need that. We can't get in here yet. Um, that's fine. We just gotta. I swear there's something in one of these rooms, like ammo or something. But I'm not seeing any. Oh, scissors. Huh. I think. Do I actually need these as a screwdriver? Right. I remember now. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna drop the nightstick here and pick up the screwdriver. Now, <laughs> because I really don't want to not have my nightstick, I'm 
gonna go ahead and... Oh, what am I doing? So you need a screwdriver to open up the panel, but I'm not taking the fuse yet because that is suicide. It's not really suicide. I mean, I say that because I don't have the nightstick. It's not really as big of a deal as I might be making it out. But I do want it because I'm really worried about it despawning if I trigger this. That happens sometimes where you actually trigger the outside activator from the inside. It is incredibly annoying. I've actually had that happen multiple times. Was there a save in here? I gotta just double check. I don't see a recorder. Um. I'm procrastinating for a good reason, by the way. <sighs> All right, well, I'll see you guys next time on Cry of Fear. Could shoot up a college. I'm now on a watch. <laughs>